and good morning. To get you up to date a little bit, um, I've been working on the van. We've had a lot of issues. Um, air pump seized up finally. It was making all that noise on the way back from Chicago and uh, finally seized, got the new one in, replaced that, but then, you know, everything just started going south after that. Um, I thought at first it was an ignition issue because the uh, engine was rumbling and it turned out, yeah, that the rotor cap rotor uh, was bad. I replaced the plugs, the wires, um, I got a new fuel filter in there, and now I'm having like a major lack of power in the low to mid range. And I tried tracking it down, I brought it into a specialist, I finally found somebody here in Ottawa who specializes in old Dodges. And he had a really long, hard look at it. He did every single test imaginable. Um, great compression, great vacuum, he fixed some vacuum leaks, fixed some other leaks and little issues here and there. Fixed a bunch of stuff and ran every test possible, and now I know without a shadow of a doubt that my engine is in perfect condition. However, that didn't fix the problem. So now I know that the transmission's an issue. I brought it in to a transmission specialist, they dropped the pan, and it's like sparkle princess sunshine, rainbow confetti metal flakes all in there. It's, it's a disaster. So it's gonna be expensive. Um, a new transmission for a van like that isn't really available. I'm having to go through a rebuild, which is, uh, luckily I've got a good shop here and they do really good work. BNN Transmission, they're, they're, they've got everything in stock uh, for this kind of thing, so they can actually do it and get it done by the end of the week, um, which is just huge. That's crazy to me. And, you know, another silver lining is I'm working right now and I can afford this giant bill of probably about three or four thousand dollars. Sucks, because that's like what we spent on the van, <laughs> you know? Um, but uh, that's what it is, you know, it's expensive sometimes when this stuff goes wrong and I don't know enough about transmissions to do this kind of stuff on my own. I mean, parts alone are gonna probably be a thousand bucks, so. I've been sitting here for like a week now, um, finishing up editing. I've got, uh, God, five weddings I'm editing right now. So that's about 10,000 photos that I'm having to go through. It's a lot of work, and that's one of the reasons why I haven't really posted too many videos. So sorry about that. But, Mark, I have some good news. Some great news. You're going to be really excited. Whenever it loads up. Pokemon Go. <laughs> Let's go catch some Pokemon. <laughs> oh, look. Okay, so apparently I'm chilling out of my sister's place here. And the GPS has picked that up. Well, there's nothing around. There's like gyms over here. That's way too far. I'm not ready for a gym. So the mechanics here have been actually texting me and sending me pictures as they're working, which is kind of cool. I'm not used to dealing with like a mechanic that text messages. I don't know. Anyway, um, they told me to come in, so it doesn't sound good. It sounds very not promising. There she is, the old girl. Probably has no transmission in it now. Let's see what they gotta say. There's a gap. What's that gap? That's what the back of my engine plate looks like. No transmission. It's gone. Wow. That's it, eh? This place has a lot of transmission parts. It's kind of glued to the back part. Okay. And this is the back part that supports the shaft and the drums. Oh. It just blocks all fluid. So there used to be... No, this is a, there's a gasket here. Yeah, okay. That seals. But the lube is gone. Okay. It goes into the case. Yeah. And feeds through here into here. So <laughs> you can see by the damage, it just cut off all the lube. Oh. That's, that's why it looks like this. Okay. Um, as for the other components? Well, the overdrive planet could be better. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, there's some wiggle. That doesn't look good. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. All right, okay. So, so for myself, I, that's no good. I would never use that. Yeah, okay. And the torque converter, obviously. Uh, the output shaft, it's, it's, it's damaged. Yeah. Like, you may put it back in, but it's gonna, probably fail again in a short period of time. Okay. So I would rather unuse it. 
So we've got mm -hmm. three components there. I need a bearing kit because they're yeah. aware of. Yeah. And that takes, because this is the mating surfaces to this, yeah. they also have to be changed. Right, that, I feel that, I feel that. Same in bikes. Okay, cool. And these are your bands, the reverse and the second. The okay. reverse is really done in. Okay. Intermediate, it has the black line sort of thing that's not usable. Okay. It's a matter of doing it right the first time. Yes, no, I definitely don't want to have to take this all apart again. No. I'd like to get it right, right, right. But what we're saying is we got a lot of components to replace. Yes. But we're not tossing the whole thing. We can't do this. I think I can work with it. Yeah, okay, cool. That's great. That's good news as far as I'm concerned. When they said come on in, I was like, oh no. Oh no. I mean, I knew it was going to be bad, but I was like, oh god, it's over. Yeah. This is really cool. This shop is dope. You guys have like... The transmissions come up in an elevator. Oh, no way. Yeah, and we use this lift. Pick them out of the elevator and deliver them to whoever's going to do the job. That's amazing. Say we're back. No kidding. And I want a workbench like this one. Yeah, very handy. Very handy. All right, cool. The torque converter? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. So the transmission's got half a dozen parts plus all kit stuff to rebuild. Yeah, you need that. Look at all these torque converters. Look at that. That is crazy. More torque converters and transmissions. This is uh, the disaster. No, this is not yours. This is a Ford order. Yeah, this looks way too clean. This is. Okay. It's all worn inside. Yeah. Wow. This is really beat up. Yeah. This is where the, this is where we're, we're hurting together. Yeah. Okay. Oh, is this? Did you have to cut this? Is that why it's uh, scratched like that? No, no, no. I, I, I cut this. Oh, on the other. Okay. So that's that's it. That's the wear right Something there. Something went in between here. Okay. A damage is there was a piece of metal, foreign metal went in there. You see that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 All the way yeah. around. See, really. uh, it has to be like that. See there? There's what it should look like. Yeah. Okay. This pump drives this turbine. That drives the shaft. That drives the training. Perfect. Okay. That sucks. Four thousand uh. dollars. Gonna gonna have to work pretty hard. Um, yeah, might hold off on changing camera gear and stuff a little bit. And uh, yeah, that sucks. But. You know, I, I'm glad I have this shop here. This is a crazy fully featured shop. They've got everything and they're gonna get it done by like Thursday. So that's like two days, three days from now, two days from now, they'll have all of this done. That's insane. So I'm glad, I'm grateful that I have them. I just wish it wasn't so damn expensive, but I mean, they're doing a lot of work, so. Dave, don't be weird. All right, we're going to our favorite faux spot. Just a little pick me up because I'm feeling quite sick and uh, quite broke. There he is, new friend Sam. Hey. It's my new friend Sam. This is Sam. This is the rest of my family. That's Sam. That's Sam as well. That's Sarah. And this is Dave. Yeah. Who needs menus? <laughs> this guy right here. He needs a menu. What are you not? Are you not regular enough to just know? I've never been to Foboka. Foboka. No. Oh. I didn't realize there was like a competition, no, competition no, here. Competition. This is well, this is, is the, guess, this is the place yeah. though. You can't. Don't Foboga King me. Sam, you can't be your friend if you're going to Foboga King. <laughs> it's got to be Foboga Two, and only this Foboga Two because there's like four other Foboga. I know. I was, I was actually worried that you're going <laughs> to another one. <laughs> oh wait, Simon, do you want medium or size large? Twenty four seven. Apparently, we're gonna go get some bubble tea because Sarah 
hasn't gotten her uh, Asian food fix yet. Foe's not enough for Sarah, she needs bubble tea. Bubble tea! Bubble tea. spot in the neighborhood that had really good air conditioning. I lived in a really crappy student apartment. It was like a thousand degrees. So I'd come here, drink like one bubble tea and just like milk the AC for like two hours with my sister. It's the kind of thing a student does. Trying to hit this sign right now with tapioca balls because uh, Why not? Oh, this can't take us anywhere. Balls. We're filthy. I mean, how are your ginger balls? They're very ginger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At the sign, this sir. What are you doing? Car knows that we're doing it. Just get the sign. Oh, you missed horribly. Oh God, I got it close. That's <laughs> spray. Uh, this guy's got range, man. He got that tree way over there. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. Oh, I got nice. Look at, you see that? It's because he's deep throating it, I bet you. He's deep throating his balls, that's why. Covered in disgusting stuff. Sam, how's your legs? I feel fine. Covered in leachy of... juices? No, I'm fine. You I good? got deep shorts though. Mm -hmm. Oh, Foe is awesome. We just stopped by Sam's place picking up Champ. We're gonna uh, take a walk over to Dow's Lake because there's some Pokemon stuff over there. I haven't gotten to play Pokemon Go yet. So I'm really excited about that. We can fly some drones too, you know? Plus, walk our dog. <laughs> 